Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're having an error message on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer in regards to insufficient system resources existing to complete the requested service. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys, on how to resolve the issue. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be just to restart your computer. Very simple step and you know it honestly does fix quite a number of issues so that's what I would recommend doing first. So once you're back into Windows, you want to open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best result, check them back with registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, all you have to do is select file and then export. File name and recommend naming the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, all you would have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now that's out of the way, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder, so double click on that. Now you want to go down to current control set and double click on it. Should be a control folder in there. Double click on that. Locate the session manager folder. And double click on it. And now finally, there should be a memory management folder right here. And if you need to take note of our file path, you can see it up at the top of the screen. Each backslash is a different sub key that we went under to get to this point. So now on the right side, you want to locate two values one that says page pool size and one that says pool usage maximum. So the ones right here, page to pool size. And if you see something that says pool usage maximum, well, we're gonna have to go ahead and create the one value anyway. But if you don't see one of these values or neither of them, you're gonna have to right click in a blank area on the right panel here, select new and then dword 32 bit value. So the one that I do not have is pool usage maximum. Exactly, you see it on my screen, pool usage maximum, and hit enter. So again, we got two files here, page pool size. If you have to create this one, it's spelled exactly the same way you see it on my screen right now, and then pool usage maximum. So once you've done that, you wanna go ahead and just double click on the pool usage maximum entry first. Set the value data to the number 60. Base should be hexadecimal and select OK. That's fine that the data then becomes 96. That's no issue at all. Now for the paged pool size, double click on it. You're going to type eight Fs in a row, all lowercase. So again, you want to type in eight Fs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So again, there's eight lowercase Fs in here. F is in Frank and then select OK once that's done. And now you want to go close out of the registry editor. And you will need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect here. So go ahead and restart your device at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that has resolved the issue at this point for you. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.